Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're currently on our way to Manchester. We've been in the car for what feels like years. Yeah, sounds a long great. Time. A long time. It just the traffic just keeps getting worse. Like there's been it said that we've had three hours to go for about what feels like three hours, but it's just not like every time we make some progress more traffic comes up like it says we're now going to arrive at seven o'clock and our reservation for dinner is at 7 30 uh and it's a 30 minute walk away from our hotel so not sure how that's gonna, i'm gonna do i'm having to do my makeup in the car i've kind of already discovered that i'm gonna be doing my makeup in the car which isn't ideal but i've done it before because we were stuck in traffic on new year's eve i believe we were stuck in traffic and i had to do my makeup in the car so i can do it it's fine um but we're going out for dinner at Tattoo. Um, it's like an Asian restaurant, I believe. I think it's Chinese. Chinese? Yeah. Um, for dinner tonight, which would be so nice. And yeah, I'm just basically just going to vlog the, vlog, vlog the weekend. Well, it's Sunday today, but like, I'm going to say I'm just going to vlog the weekend because to me it's just a weekend. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoy. We have just got ready to go out on day one. Yesterday, we got literally to the hotel. We had to run straight out to the restaurant and I just didn't end up filming anything. My camera's currently on zero battery, so I'm speaking really, really quickly. But this is the outfit of the day. Shorts are super dry. This is Topshop, this is Looks to Kill. And I've just got my Adidas trainers on. And we're just going out for brunch now. I'm just realized I can't, I won't be able to take my camera out today because it's not charged, but... Um, which is annoying, but I'll film stuff on my phone today and then this evening i'll be able to take you out on the camera but yeah we are we're going to the cube today we're doing like the cube um experience thing before my camera very very rudely interrupted me by dying um i think i was saying we were going out for brunch we've been out for brunch it was so nice we went to a place called ezra and gill ezra and gill ezra and grill i think it's gill yeah, gill, gill. Anyway, it was so nice. If you go to Manchester, I would 100% recommend going there. It was delicious. I got a full English breakfast um, and Sam got like chorizo egg and hash brown, and hash brown. Like, sweet but, like sweet potato. It was really nice anyway. Um, we went to this like massive oriental like Asian supermarket. It was so cool. Like we wanted to try and find some bao buns to take home because obviously, you know, my obsession with bao buns, but they were only frozen. Obviously we can't get the frozen ones and take them home from Manchester. So we didn't get them. We ended up getting some chopsticks because we've been saying for ages, we want to start making more like noodle dishes. So we got these chopsticks. For 10 sets of chopsticks, it was £4.50. Yeah. I literally couldn't believe it. We were walking around like, sriracha was like £2. Like I swear it's normally like £4.50 in Sainsbury's. Like mm. it was crazy. But we are now going to the Arndale. I need to get a Zara Perf. I need to get my favourite Zara perfume which is apple juice I've run out of it and I, I've run out of perfume for this trip so I want perfume to wear tonight um but my camera is now saying it's fully charged so I'll be taking you out and I'll show you what we get up to and then yeah we're doing the cube um game thing which I'm so excited for uh yeah and then we're going to Rosso for dinner tonight so I'm so excited but I think I showed you my outfit this bag that I literally just wear in every single outfit. Top shop. Oh no, I've already told you that. I know I told you that. We've come in to end, I believe, and they've got some really nice shoes. Like, wait, I found these new balance that were like so nice. How nice are they? Like, I'm literally obsessed with them. I got my um, apple juice perfume from Zara as well because it's my favourite scent ever. And I got like a big, big, big version. I normally have like the 80 mil, I believe. But I got, um, 180 mil so it'll probably last me literally until like next year because i'm also going to get another zara perfume currently oh, but they're browsing. they've got some they've got really nice um essential stuff they have um like the jumpers but they're like retail price rather than spending like silly 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 money on like stock x for them so i'd recommend coming to the shop if you like that kind of thing it was time for a pit stop i feel like we've been on our feet all day like literally all day i mean it's like what half two Half two, I've got an iced vanilla latte from Costa. I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion or a popular opinion, but Costa coffee is better than Starbucks coffee. By quite a long way. Um, I don't know if I said what the perfume that I, wore, that I got earlier was, but it's apple juice by Zara. I'm going to unbox it. It's only £17 for this like massive box. So, I don't know how I've managed to do this with one hand. Wait. <gasps> it's huge. 
huge. Thanks. Wow. It's like such like a clean smell. Like loads of people always ask me like what's my favourite smell. And this. So nice. They also do a like Joe Malone collab. Zara do, thank you. Um and it's called Ebony Wood, the one that I love. It's so nice. I'm gonna get that tomorrow, I think, just so I've got like lots of scents because I love having like loads of scents. So I'm just mixing my coffee. But we're going to the cube thing in about an hour, I believe. Um, I'm so excited. I feel like I'm gonna be really. I feel like I'm gonna be really bad at it. I feel like the whole my whole life I've thought I'd be good at stuff like this, but so nice try that. Yeah. And we got a chocolate chip in. One sack. <gasps> I dropped my table. Five second roll, five second roll. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Delish. I'm thinking of getting a new phone. If anyone's got the iPhone 14 Pro, let me know because I really want the normal Um I really want the 14 Pro. Because I've got the 11 right now. Um, but I just feel like if you follow me on Instagram, you'd have seen I was saying that like, I feel like the quality of the photos and stuff just isn't what I want. Um, which is annoying. And I've had my phone for like almost four years now, so. But and it's my birthday coming up, so I thought I could ask for like half of it for my birthday and I'll just like pay towards it. But if anyone does have the 14 Pro, please let me know because I need some opinions. We have made it to the cube thing, we're just waiting for our turn to be up. There's like rooms everywhere, like one of the things I can see right in front of us is like you put your like helmet thing on and you have to like go over the um, like hurdle kind of things and there's like one over here that's got like stacking stuff. My confidence is getting less and less the more I'm sat here, I'm thinking I'm going to be absolutely terrible at this. But there's so many like cubes, there's just cubes everywhere. I'm excited. I'll update you once we're done of who wins. I don't know whether actually I don't know whether we're working together or if it's a team effort. You're hoping it's a team. I'm no, I'm hoping it's against. You'll just bring the team down. Whenever you're ready, blindfold on, make your way across the cube. Good luck, Sam. I've just done this twice and failed it. <gasps> oh my god. Yes! <laughs> we are on our way to Rosso right now. I haven't filmed anything since the cube. Um, Sam and I got the daily high score for today. Like wiped the floor with the people we were against. Like you went, if you go in a couple, you like get put with another couple um, to go against. And I think we got like seven thousand seven hundred fifty yep. points. And I think they got like five thousand two hundred, five thousand three hundred, something, like something like that. But um, it was so good. I'll include, I, I'll include some clips of it. Um, I got a video of Sam doing that. I think you got like a video of me or something, but we're just on our way to Rosso. This is my outfit of the night. Shoes, Adidas, jeans, PLT, obviously. Zara bag, I've got a little lounge bra on. Then this PLT, like, prop blazer. I think it's so cool. I tried to do my hair like Kim Kardashian vibes tonight. I don't really know if it was the first, it was my first attempt, so that's fine. Um, gonna try and get a picture tonight. Also, can we appreciate, this makeup has been on since this morning. I didn't even do it. I just put extra lipstick on and reapplied my setting spray 
to make it like blend it like all go into my face again so the short term resetting spray like needs to be I mean it's hyped already but it needs to be it's not it's underrated it needs to be rated higher than it is because it's I did my makeup at what 11 half 10 yeah, half 10 and it's currently half 8 our mains have arrived I've gone for carbonara without the pancetta of Sam's gone for oyster. chicken alfredo chicken alfredo kind of vibe that's the same pasta as what I had in Greece so my Greece box um, you'll see what I mean it was like the nicest pasta ever but gonna dig in we got um, garlic bread to start and it was delicious it was so garlic like you probably can smell my breath with the screen let's be completely honest um, but it's so beautiful in here yeah, I think I just enjoy my food. We are back from dinner now. It was absolutely delicious. We got so garlic bread and then we got some so I got pasta, I got carbonara obviously without bacon. Um and then Sam got this. I said I think I said at the time it was like chicken alfredo, but it wasn't chicken alfredo, Sam. It was like so much nicer. Um and the pasta was such nice shape. I feel like I look so weird right now. Um and then we got some profiteroles for dessert, which were absolutely incredible. Like, incredible. Um, they were like white chocolate inside, like white chocolate cream inside, and then like hot, like chocolate on the outside. It was, how was that sound? Can you hear that? Um, it was absolutely delicious. And like, this might be an unpopular opinion. So we were talking about it while we were at dinner. like. There were some couples in the restaurant and there was this last night when we went out for dinner, like, and they just sat at the table on their phones. And like, I know everywhere you kind of go, you get that, but like, what also ignore the fact that like, literally half my nails are missing. I've kind of been peeling them all off all day and I need to stick them back on. Um, but like, why are you going out? First of all, why are you with someone that you can't basically hold a conversation for the whole dinner? Sorry if this is offending anyone, but... I feel like it shouldn't be an unpopular opinion, but maybe it is. Like, why are you going out for dinner with someone that you can't hold, like, a conversation with or want to have a conversation without going on your phone for, like, an hour and a half? Like, come on. Like, it just, it actually just baffles me. And it's like, there was this, these two girls, right? Like, they clearly chosen to go out for dinner. Like, it looked like they were friends. Um, and they literally just sat there before they even, like, before they ordered sat there like on their phones that didn't say a word and then they ordered and then just went back on the phone so it's like I just it, go, it just baffles me like you might think completely differently to me but I just don't understand why you'd want to go out to a nice restaurant and not like enjoy your environment and stuff but each to their own don't want to offend anybody here um but yeah we're just back in bed we've got greys up on the laptop well on my ipad to watch we're on season 18 episode 5 we've not never watched these ones we we watched up to like season 15 i want to say and then stop well whatever the um covid one is we got like a couple episodes into that and then just like stopped watching it last time so then we've re-watched the whole thing and we're up to season 18 again it's currently like 11 o'clock half 11 i'm pretty sure which is so late for me <laughs> um but we're getting up, checking out tomorrow and then going to the traffic centre. But actually, while we were at dinner, we were talking about the fact that I just, like, hate spending my money. Like, I don't know if I've ever spe spoken about it on here. Like, I saw a cap today. So I want a cap. Like, I saw this picture of Molly Mae and she had a cap on. And I thought, you look really cool with a cap on. So decided I now want a cap. And we went into Foot Asylum or Foot Locker. And basically, they were having a sale. And there was a cap for 9 99 And in my head, I was like, a bit steep for a cap like i just have but then like i'll buy sam like oh, for his for our anniversary i bought him like a designer t-shirt i like no part of me questions that because i'm buying it for someone else but when it's something for me like i just have this like block against it we were having this conversation and i've decided i'm buying a cap tomorrow <laughs> i don't care if it's 10 pounds i don't care if it's 20 pounds i'm buying a cap like it's just stupid like i just don't spend my money like unless it's on somebody else and if I do spend my money on myself I literally feel sick doing it like it's actually kind of a problem like to the fact that this is probably why you only see me wearing the exact same clothes because I just don't buy clothes because I just don't want to buy them but I'm getting past that we decided I'm getting over it like 
I'm gonna start treating myself because I deserve it. I'm currently sat in the hotel lobby. Um, he's absolutely checking it down outside. Why is on my screen, like I keep flipping over like side to side. But anyway, um, it's tracking it down outside. I've got a white t-shirt on and the only like hoodie I've got is a black jumper. So I said to Sam, like, would you be really kind and go and get the car and come outside the hotel? So that's what he's done. So boyfriend of the year award for Sam today. Actually he offered to do it rather than me even ask. I just kind of was like, mm, yeah, it's okay, you can do that. So yeah, I'm current I've got like a white t-shirt on and like some like little shorts like and everything. Why on my screen, did I just say that? I keep like flipping over. I don't know what is going on. Um, but yeah, we're going to the traffic centre today and doing some shopping. I need to get a few bits, so I'll show you what we get. And then we're just going to drive home. I think we're going to get some food and just have a nice, like, chill shopping day. So yeah, but this bit of the hotel like this, the lobby bit is so nice. Like, these are like the um, walls. That would be such a good like Instagram pic, but no one's here with me, so I can't take one. Also, props to me, I'm filming in public. Um, that's how confident and no social anxiety I am now. So, get me. We've come to Wingstop for dinner. I think it's really loud in here, sorry, but I got um, sweet potato fries. Sam got, I don't really know what he got. He got these chicken y things. These chicken y things. <laughs> sweet fries. Um, but literally no joke, like we have been shopping all day, we keep going back and forth between like shops but I'll do like a big haul when we get in the car um, I've literally not been in, I've literally not even like thought to pick up the camera because we've just been like non-stop all day and yesterday I re-watched the footage of me that I filmed like, in the shops and it was just so noisy and I thought I can't even bother that, I'd rather just explain explain through in the car so I'll give you a little rundown of what we got um, and I'll tell you if these super dope cars get actually Mm. Yeah, there you go. We are on our way home and I thought I would just give you a little haul of what we got at the Trafford Centre. Um, I think I was saying when I was in Wick, when we, Jesus Christ, I'm going to play. Um, when we were in Wingstop that basically I bought a pair of shoes, which I'll show you. I bought like the, the Panda Dunks. Um, and then I saw them in JD and they were £10 cheaper and I just thought, might as well go and get them for £10 cheaper. So then we went and returned them. And then when I went into Foot Asylum to return them, I found two caps. So that, was that what happened? Yeah. No, you bought them in JD. And oh God, yeah. So when I bought the um, shoes in JD, so the second pair of shoes in JD, I bought two caps and they were two like Adidas caps, one like kind of beige color and one black color. And then when I went to return the shoes to Foot Asylum, I saw a different brand of cap that wouldn't that I preferred. So then I end, so I returned the Panda Dunks and bought <laughs> bought the caps. Then we had to go back to JD to return the caps I just bought in JD, buying the new shoes. So we were walking up and down the same bit of the traffic centre for like literally hours. Because that's and then we were going into shops, coming out of shops. It was an absolute nightmare. And then we went. And then when I was in JD, Sam, I found the pair of shoes. If you follow me on Instagram, you'd have seen that I posted them on my story. I found this pair of shoes that I absolutely loved. But they're men's shoes, and I'm in a, I'm a UK four, um, and they only went down to five and a half, so I couldn't get them. So Sam ended up getting them, just to kind of rub it into my face. And then, but we'd seen them in Selfridges, <laughs> so we were like, let's, right, let's see if we can get them in Selfridges. So we were like, right, we know that they've got them in Sam's size in JD. And then we went into Selfridges and they were out of stock in Sam's size. So we had to go back to JD to get the trainers. But anyway, I've got a little haul. I don't know what, what is in what. So this could be either my trainers. Are these are, right, these are the caps. They're very basic caps. They're like, I'm sure if you've seen a cap, it's probably these. Like this one and this one. Just thought, cool, like can add to an outfit. Yeah, and to be honest, I'd, saw, I'd seen Molly May wearing a black cap with like a nice, with like a black outfit and I thought, you look cool. It might actually have been this is that one, but I thought, you look cool. So I thought, oh, I'll try just to copy her. And then these, I think, are my dunks. So I just got the panda dunks, which I actually used to be a slight hater of. I 
always thought like like the the di- like the between black and white like I, yeah like the contrast was a little too much but they were seventy quid so can't say no to a seventy pound pair of trainers and I was gonna get the um, grey ones as well I was gonna go on a mad spending spree with trainers today the grey ones that I got for Sam like the grey um, grey fog dunks they were like a hundred pound I bought them for Sam Sam for like four hundred quid or something. Like ridiculous, so I think they did like a restock of them. So yeah, these were seventy pounds. So if you've wanted to get your hands on these, but they've been too expensive, like get them now because there were like entering average speed check zone. There were loads of sizes available, and yeah, seventy pounds. So very pleased with my purchase for that. And I thought like we're literally like an outfit like this. They just like look cool. Um, that was. Everything. Oh no, that was my stuff from JD. I'll show you Sam's trainers because I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I'm so jealous that like he can wear these. Um, so yeah, we ended up having to get them from JD as well. So oh my god, I thought they said that these were eight and a half. Yeah, that's the US. Bit. Yeah. Ooh, mini heart attack. Are you ready? That kind of didn't look like anything there. Oh, so nice. Oh, you've got fluorescent thingies with them if you want them. Yeah, I'm alright without them. That's so weird. Um, anyway, these are the trainers. They look so nice. I saw them in Selfridges first and I was like, oh my god, they look so nice. And I was expecting to pick them up and them to be like, Honestly, like 400 quid, like I was expecting them to be so expensive and they were 110 pounds. So if any of you guys have size five and a half or bigger, I would 100% recommend you getting these. Why are they, why, who would put these with them? Sorry. I have no idea. I saw them when she was packing them away. Oh really? Yeah. Like, oh, they are so, I think these are called Nike Air Dunk Jumbo in Fontaine dust slash white summit white Fontaine yeah, Fontaine whatever anyway so nice I was actually contemplating how many pairs of socks I would have to wear to get from a UK 4 to a UK 5 and a half but is men's sizes bigger? no I don't think they are I think slightly bigger do you think? But I was contemplating how many pairs of socks I basically have to put on to be able to fit into the five and a half because I just can't find a use I just don't think they do them. So if anyone is watching this thinking they do do them, please let me know because I desperately want them. And then from Selfridges, I just got a new Charlotte Tilbury setting spray because this is my favourite setting spray ever. I just think, actually, I don't know if I said, I think I might have said yesterday, but um, I... I did my makeup in the morning at like half 10? 10? 10? About 10, yeah. About 10. And I had it on. We took, you took my Instagram picture at half 10 basically. Yeah. At night. Yeah. And my makeup looked flawless. And it's all literally, is this called flawless? No, no, it's not. That's called flawless filter. I was going to say that's like airbrush. Oh, it's called airbrush flawless. Honestly. I was so impressed, like we got back after being out shopping yesterday and I was like right I'm going to take my makeup off and do it again. I looked in the mirror and I thought I don't need to take my makeup off, like I literally just want to do my, my lipstick again and that was literally it, like I just applied a little bit of lipstick in the middle, like my lip liner had stayed on, like I was so impressed and oh my god, <gasps> what is happening? I think you just crashed. Still driving so it's not like that. Oh my god. Um, and then I got my favourite um, foundation ever. This is, I was going to say it's £6, it's actually not anymore, it's £7.49 I believe. Um, I wear golden beige and it's the dewy one. It is the best Exiting foundation. Exiting average speed enforcement zone. It is the best foundation ever. It's like, I just, I've tried quite a few different ones and this is just the best one every single time. And I'm running out, so I thought I would restock. And is that it? Is that everything we got? Um, yeah. yeah. We looked in Selfridges for a t-shirt and stuff. And 
Oh yeah, Sam had seen a couple t-shirts from Off-White yesterday that he wanted to get, um, we wanted to look at getting, but they didn't have them in the Selfridges in the, oh, in the Trafford Centre, which I thought was weird. I thought the Selfridges would be way bigger in the Trafford Centre than in the Arndale, yeah, but it wasn't. Arndale. Anyway, saved you a few pennies. Yeah. A few pounds. Um, but yeah, we're just on our way back now. We have three hours, 20 minutes to go, and then we'll be home. It took us five, five, six five, hours, five. six hours to get up here. So if we do get back, when it says we're getting back, that is an absolute minor miracle. But yeah, I'll check in with you again in the drive, potentially. We just stopped at a service station. We're about an hour and a half away from home. Traffic dependent, touch wood. Um, but we went into the services and basically I got a frozen Fanta lemon. And like, I mean, it is very nice, but I think I prefer a normal Fanta. Yeah, I'll probably agree. It's nice and refreshing though. I got some, I'm not a Burger King goer, so this is kind of new for me. I got some onion rings. I thought I could do a little taste test of. Oh, there's quite a few in here. Oh, they're soggy as hell. Not crispy. Yeah, they are, they're good. Mm. They're okay. I don't want on that one. I wouldn't rush to Burger King to get these. No offense, Burger King, but I am going to eat them. Um, and then we got Rocky Roads and I got a little flapjack. So we're well too stocked up. I've actually, oh, Sam got a, sorry, Sam got a Ribena Light. Did you feel a bit left out there? Thanks for including me. Um, Sam put on his new trainers to wear to services just to rub them, in, rub them into my face, rub it in my face so I don't have them. Um, that looks cool. You looked cool. I looked cool. You, do you want him to be a YouTuber or something? No, I don't. I really don't. I have just finished editing the video and realised I didn't ever do an outro. So, just wanted to say I hope you enjoyed the video. I actually am using my phone as a light currently because my room is so dark and if I turn on my mirror lights it goes like really weird. But, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please subscribe and like the video. And yeah, hope to see you in my next video. Love you.